Well, good morning, America. Shout out to my boy Jericho Green on the Jericho Green Network. How y'all doing? Ah, right, me and Butch out here taking a stroll. Say hello, Butch. Butch, say hello. Hey, man, how you doing? We out here chilling. Uh, temperature cooled down a lot. Yes, it, how you doing, brother? All these bicycle riders. Get this. Tripes. Uh oh, look out, boy. Yeah, we out here strolling here, getting our exercise in. Bush can take care of his business. Stuff like that Sunday morning, about 8 a.m. Uh, temperature actually went down a lot here in the Philippines, at least here in Makati City. It ain't as uh, hot as usual. Current temperature is probably about 85 degrees, which usually, anyway, usually. We're looking at about 93, 94 degrees. So, yeah, the temperature broke a little bit. The kids are back in school. That's good. And uh, we still haven't had any rain. Had a couple of sprinkles. Uh, that was close. Had a couple of sprinkles a couple of days ago, but that's about it. Uh, otherwise, everything's working out. Howdy. Anyway, for those interested parties, I depart the Philippine mañana. Tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Tomorrow morning, 13, 13 uh, May, arriving in San Francisco, California, 13 hours later. And then from there, get on the plane bounce for Los Angeles, California. From there, El Paso, Texas. Pretty good deal, really. Get me back to the good old USA, right? Anyway, I'm mad once I arrive. I give him and get me a job. Because for the most part, I'm going to have to return. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, on the, uh, at about mid-August, I guess. Hey, how you doing? At about mid-August, I have to return to the Philippines. Let me put this on pause for a little bit. Well, I try to get through it. Woo! How y'all doing? Oh, good meat. Good meat. They cooking pork belly. Come on, come on, come on. Looks good. I sure like the house, son. Yes, sir. Anyway. That's pretty early in the morning to be barbecuing, but... Oh well, it is what it is. Anyway, as y'all know, Madam Honey Bun is having Honey Bun Junior. Madam Honey Bun is going to deliver Honey Bun Junior. Sometime after mid-August. 
which is the reason why I have to return mid-August. Because at the age of 64 years young, I have decided that I was going to join fatherhood. Hey, boy. Hey. What's up, man? I'm joining fatherhood at 64 years young. Now, ain't that some crap? Anyway, in order to protect the interests of Honey Bun Jr., to ensure its citizenship as an American citizen with all the privileges of an American it's essential in order to keep not to fight from behind that I Married Madam Honeybun. So that is something that is in the works to ensure that I maintain the integrity of Honeybun Jr. and protect its American status as a citizen. Then it's essential that I not fight from behind and marry Madam Honeybun. They got rooms in there for rent. Studios, they need like $200 a month. One bedrooms, studio apartments. Yeah, so that is something that is in the works. Ah, like I said, at the tender age of 64, I am joining fatherhood. Ain't that some crap? Hey. I sure didn't ask for it, Lord help me. Lord knows. Come on, come on. But uh, I'm dealing with, I better take me a little seat. I'm dealing with this situation as it is presented. So anyway, ooh, I'm sitting directly in the hot sun. And boy, it's smoking. Seems like the sidewalks are higher on this side than it is on the other one. So like I said, my good Facebook followers, your boy is tired to not again. Let me tell you, I was so content with my situation being single and unattached to anybody for more than 13 years. And I'm gonna tell you right now, because of this current situation and my responsibility to Honey Bun Jr., I don't think I got a lot of options here, so I'll just go ahead and make that happen. Doesn't mean I'm gonna live in the Philippines. In fact, in all actuality, I, I don't really have any plans of living here. Even though I like the place, Philippines is a great place, man. People are phenomenal. Everything is so convenient here, you know what I'm saying? Like all these bicycles you see them riding around here, these trikes and motorbikes, these are ride share services. They get you where you want to go. Market right over there. 
things over here doesn't cost nearly as much as things cost in the good old USA. I'm telling you, you just can't beat it, man. If you want to do some travel in country, you ain't even got it. You can travel to Thailand, you can travel to Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, China. For half, I mean, for the money you pay to travel, it's half of what you're going to pay in America. As a matter of fact, notice we took a trip last week, right? Three of us. Me, Madam Honeybun, and Madam Honeybun niece. We went up to uh, Sabu. Two days. And I'm telling you, the travel was less than $400. That's three airplane tickets, round trip. Less than $400. The hotel accommodation, two nights. $110 if you include all the taxes and all that stuff that's associated with it. I rented a car for, for a day. That was like $80. When the smoke cleared, that was like 80 bucks. And the food we had out there, yeah, we didn't even need any restaurant. Madam Honeybun went to the supermarket and bought chow and cooked it in the room. And Cebu's a great city. Lots of American foreigners and European foreigners. They, that's one of the places they love. But uh, uh, like I said, when I get back to the U.S. Uh, next week, I got an appointment with the Social Security Administration on Tuesday. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get me a job. Because I don't want to be sitting around just until August 15th. That's just like crazy. I was going to do a little traveling. But I'll probably just get a job. Man. Because as y'all notice, I'm a truck driver. With more than 25 years experience. More than 3 million miles under my belt. And um, I kind of, I miss it. I want to get back in the truck, man. That's, I really miss driving those trucks. Look at them fools. Hey, what's wrong with y'all? What's wrong with y'all? They got like, people around here, they kind of like, they let these dogs just run the streets. So, you know, uh, ain't a lot of that, you know. It ain't no big deal to see dogs. Walk around on the streets out here. Yeah, boy, yeah. Oh, did I told you Social Security would pay Honey Bug Jr. a stipend? Social Security would pay Honey Bug Jr. a stipend. About a thousand dollars a month. Because I'm on Social Security, they pay my dependents. I'm so scared. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! What you doing? <laughs> Stop! I think he's irritated. Let me take him. Move. He want to move. Anyway, let me shut this thing down. Ah, at about ten minutes, I met. Oh, 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 oh! Like I said, it sure as hell cooled down a lot. Now that don't mean it's cool, cool, but it did cool down a lot. Hey man, yeah, I met it well. They said by the end of the May, it a it a temperature drop by ten degrees Fahrenheit on average, which would be pretty cool. Woo! You'll be able to sleep at night without an air condition. <laughs> be somebody like me, right? A foreigner. Anyway, like, share, and subscribe to the Honey Blood channel. Like, share, and subscribe 
to the Honey Bun Channel. We out of here. Adios.